Sunpai Firuzi is a gaming and fitness content creator with more than 100,000 YouTube subscribers. But in April last year, fans got in touch to tell her AI-generated pornographic images and videos of her were appearing online. So there'll be um, pictures of me holding my, my control playing games and they would have taken my top off. There's pictures of me when I'm like sprinting on the treadmill or just standing on the treadmill, they've taken my trousers off. She's in contact with platforms to remove the images, but they persist. And each time, like now, she speaks out to raise awareness of the problem, more get created. They'll keep taking pictures off my Instagram, removing bits of my clothes and, and pretending that I've put this content out there. It's going to happen. And that's why it's so sad. Now, Meta has announced it will work on new technology to identify, then label, any AI-generated images across its platforms. Many deepfakes are harmless. Tom Cruise is a particular and very convincing favourite online. This is serious breaking news. But, but not so for Taylor Swift, the most recent high-profile victim of illegal deepfaked porn images and potentially harmful in other ways. AI generation suspected in a fake phone call of Joe Biden. We know the value of voting Democratic when our votes count. It's important that you save your vote for the November election. So will Meta's move make any difference? Think about your five and six-year-olds who may grow up in a world where they don't know whether the images they're seeing are real or not. And this is a really, really important intervention. Big tech isn't acting out of goodwill alone. They're feeling the pressure. Lawmakers in the US are demanding action over harmful content. The EU and the UK bringing in AI regulation. But are they moving fast and hard enough? The UK criticised for focusing too much on the existential risks of powerful AIs, ignoring more immediate problems like deepfakes. That's a bit of a, a misrepresentation. Our regulators are already looking at how they need to adapt at the moment to the technology that is already in existence. And what we're doing today is providing more support, but also enabling them to upskill as well to be able to tackle the challenges that are already here but are also on the horizon. The true test of whether AI regulations work will be whether we see less harmful fake content online or big tech brought to book if the situation doesn't improve. Tom Clark, Sky News.